Ladies and gentlemen, to introduce Akuba, please welcome VC Fintech's executive in residence, Collins Andrews. So, so when I uh, think back on the time that I was able to work with Systematics and Altel, which was, which was a long period of time, and it was really a terrific experience, and I think what I remember the most about it, uh, other, other than the great people, some of whom are here today, but is that with, with Systematics, the software and the services that we had were absolutely excellent. They, were, they met a real need, they were well designed, uh, our clients wanted them, in fact, they really loved the products. As long as we did what we said we were going to do, uh, the clients were very happy. Well, the first company that you get to hear from today has one of those kind of products. Akuba is a small, Akuba's product is small business lending software. It's sold as a service, and this software improves the process of small business, small business lending. Makes it faster, more accurate, less expensive, better, better for bank business customers. So over the last 12 weeks, we've had 15 banks uh, come to the Venture Center and talk to these 10 uh, businesses. Every one of them looked at Akuba, and every one of them said, yep, that's a problem for us. Uh, we can use that product. Uh, it solves a universal problem with U.S. banks, and we need it. Akuba is the right product at the right time. Please welcome the CEO, Chris Rentner. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris Rentner, as Colin said, the founder and CEO of Akuba. And today, I want to tell you a story about Sarah. Sarah is a local small business owner that runs a profitable transportation and logistics company. A few years ago when we met Sarah, she was looking for a $65,000 loan so she could buy a piece of equipment that would allow her to increase the profits at her business. Now Sarah already worked with a local community bank and so she went down to one of their branches to apply for a loan. When she met with that banker, Sarah was given a large paper application and was told it would take nearly six weeks before she was approved or denied for that loan. Now that's when we met Sarah. She was super frustrated with that encounter. And so what did she do? She turned to Google for a better answer. Sarah found a reputable online lender and was approved for her loan in just 48 hours after just a 10 minute application process. However, in this situation, the online lender was the one who got the best deal. And the reason for that is, is because the loan that they gave to Sarah was at an APR of over 40% annually. Now in this situation, the bank also didn't get a good deal because they didn't make that loan to Sarah, so they didn't get the revenue, and they didn't build that better relationship with a community business owner. And so today, the process to issue a small business loan has gone largely unchanged in over 40 years. We call that prehistoric. Today, banks still ask customers to fax or email in sensitive documents. Multiple layers of management have been created to try to remove risk. Old school credit and lending committees were not built to handle the modern small businesses. And so today, I'm here to announce that Akuba is here to take our software and lead banks through an entire digital transformation. We've built a regulatory compliant platform that is secure and very simple for the entire banking industry to utilize. And we've launched our first product, which is a cloud-based software as a service solution that reduces costs, improves the time to get that loan accomplished, and then the best thing about it, it improves the entire customer and banker experience. This digital transformation is a huge importance to the entire banking world today. And over the next five years, banks are gonna be spending over $16 billion a year to go through this digital transformation. And of those 12,000 approximate financial institutions around the country, over 6,000 of them are potential customers for Akuba. But now what's going to happen is these banks are going to make this investment, but they want to see an ROI on their investment. 
And so we did a case study of over 200 community banks around the country and found that on average, it costs nearly $3,700 to issue just one loan. Now for the larger loans, the revenue generated easily outweighs those costs. But for loans like Sarah's, as you can see, they're barely profitable. With Akuba's system implement, implemented at those banks, you would see that we have a cost reduction of over $3,000 per loan, and therefore, that makes Sarah's loan now a very profitable piece of business for that bank. Let me run you through a case study here real quick. In 2015, uh, we spoke with a bank that did 307 loans to small business owners, representing a, a portfolio of almost $30 million that they almost broke even on. With Akuba's system and that $3,000 savings per loan, we would have generated an additional $1 million of profit for that bank. And because of the cost savings and the efficiencies and the time and the back office processing, we give that bank the ability now to scale that business substantially. Okay, you're all thinking, how do we do this? There's no way that that's possible. Reduce cost and save time. Well, we do it for, through a very simple online solution. We white label our product to the community and regional banks so their brand is prominently displayed out to the customer. We give the customer a very simple application process that allows them to input their information in a very transparent manner, upload documents digitally so they can be collected and so they understand the process that they're going through. And then for the bank, we give them a back-end system to analyze all the information and documents that have come in, review the business in a holistic manner, and then take all the financial information that we have collected using our analytics tools to assess the financial health of both the business and the business owner. And then finally, when they get down to approving that loan, we give them the ability to structure the terms and use one click of a button to approve that loan. Because of that system, we call ourselves an entire end-to-end -end solution where not only do we collect the information, help with the analysis, and then integrate with some of the bank's legacy systems, because now that we have done that, you can encapsulate the entire process on just one system. And so the other exciting thing about our platform is because we have built technology integrations to different organizations around the country, like the IRS, like FICO for credit scores, LexisNexis, and a number of other organizations where we can pull in financial data without the bank or the borrower spending any time to do so. All right, so we have a great product. The market needs it. There's a huge opportunity. Who's executing on the vision? As I said, I'm Chris Rentner. Uh, my last 10 years before becoming an entrepreneur was spent at Fortune 100 companies in the enterprise sales division. Obviously, that's pretty important given that we're selling to a lot of large banks around the country. Evan, one of my two co-founders, uh, originally started in a finance and economics degree. However, at 19 years old, he dropped out of school, headed out to Silicon Valley, and started his first startup that was eventually acquired by a large publicly traded company a handful of years ago. Nick started his process as our, or Nick, our CTO, and one of the other co-founders, started his process at Motorola, where he was leading teams in their government division, working with the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, so on and so forth, on the security and compliance of the systems at Motorola that they utilized. And then finally, Mike, 30 years plus experience in the banking industry, he worked most recently as the head of sales for BMO Harris, where he led their small business lending division in North, in North America. And Mike today is leading the charge on our sales process. We have two ways that we attack sales. First, we go after the direct process, directly to the banks, selling them a product that they absolutely need. And I'll talk a little bit about more, more about that in just a moment. But our, the way that we scale this company efficiently is by partnering with organizations that allow us to get our product out there very quickly. Today, we have already structured deals with some of these organizations, and obviously, since we're here working, talking with FIS, we're looking to create that partnership uh, in the coming months ahead. Now, back to the direct sales process today, we have three banks that have signed on to our system representing hundreds of thousands of dollars of revenue and proposals that are in the market that are representing millions.
And because of Mike's experience in sales, he has structured a very process-driven, efficient sales process that we can track and model against as we grow. And what that has led us to is a projection over the next 18 months to have over $10 million worth of revenue in proposals in our hands 18 months from now. So the whole thing, the whole reason that this company is, is possible today is over 40 years ago, companies like Systematics, now FIS, companies like Fiserv and many others out there built the infrastructure to make this entire thing possible. Then 10 years ago, new technology became available and companies that you've probably heard of like Lending Club and On Deck came around and started to disintermediate the banks with their new technology in the lending world. Quickly after them came around a few aggregators of information and what they were trying to do was take those online lenders and bring those loans to the banks or securitize them in the markets. They did all right. But what we're here to do today is bring the power back to the banks with that new technology. And so Akuba, as I said, is here to totally take a transformation for those banks from the legacy systems that they have today and bring them into 2016. Again, we're Akuba. We streamline small business lending for community and regional banks to make it, make it profitable again. Thank you.